Hey everyone, it's been a while since we've done this video and I thought it'd be a good time to revisit it because quite a lot of things have been added to the game since I last did this video. So today we are gonna go over all of the shortcuts that you can use and welcome to Vlogsburg. So going into build mode, we have an entire list of things that you can do. I'm gonna start with the view at the bottom. So pressing F on your keyboard will get your painting tool up, which means that you can now paint items if you want to. So for example, the bin bag, you can just click that and paint it. Then next to that, we have the clone stamp and the clone stamp can be accessed by pressing C on your keyboard. And now we have the clone stamp tool. I can now clone my trash bags. Also fun fact, if you color your item before you clone it, you don't have to pay extra for the paint that you put on. And then we go to next to that, we have the bin bag and the bin bag is G on your keyboard. And if you press G, your bin will open or your trash can wherever you live. <laughs> And then you can start by removing items. Going back up in the list, we have undo and redo. Those are control W to undo and control Y to redo. If you are on a Mac, it is also control W and control Y. So no difference there. If you're on a Mac, you're probably used to pressing command, but it is control. <laughs> then the grid size, I don't think that one has like a specific key to it, or at least I haven't found it. However, if you press H on your keyboard, you can remove the grid on your plot so that you don't see it anymore. And if you then press page up, you can go to the next floor. I'm gonna turn on my grid again by pressing H. If you go up with page up and page down, you can go down. So page up, it's either gonna be a button that says page up, page down or it's gonna be an arrow. It is usually above your arrow keys. There's like a page up button and then a page down button or an arrow that points up and points down. So you can use that to easily go through floors. Zooming in and out, I don't use that often. I just scroll with my mouse. But if you want to zoom in and out with your keyboard, you can press I or O to zoom out. So I is zooming in and O is zooming out. And then the toggle object collisions, I don't think has a specific button either. So we're gonna ignore that for now. I don't, I really like, I have tried every key on my keyboard. There's nothing that works. Same with the toggle roofs. I don't think there's a button for it. I could be wrong, but I pressed every key on my keyboard. I, I cannot find anything. And then we get to the resizing tool or the scale tool. The scale tool can be accessed by pressing V on your keyboard. If you press V, you can resize an object. Of course, I don't have any object to resize right now. Let me get a carpet. So pressing V on my keyboard will open up the resizing tool. And there we go, we have a nice carpet now. Then we have the brightness and the brightness cannot be changed with a button. Same with the buildos tool. So you are kind of stuck there. So yeah, currently we have a shortcuts for removing and hiding your plot, which is H. You have undo and redo. Keep in mind that undoing something will give you the full amount of money back that you spent on the item that you just bought. If you go to delete with the G button, I keep messing those up you will only get 70% back. So keep in mind that if you're building and you wanna remove something, it is better to undo than actually delete it. Although I must say out of habit, I do delete stuff quite a lot instead of just undoing it. Then we have the page up and page down to move through floors. These three, or these two at least, do not have a button. Then we have the scale tool, which is V. Then these two do not have a button. We have the F for the paint tool, C for the clone tool, and G for the bin. And those are currently all of the shortcuts that I know of. I'm probably forgetting some. If I do, I'm probably gonna edit them in the later or just forget about them probably. And right as I stopped recording this video, I realized that I forgot <laughs> to show you one. And that is if you are in build mode, you can always press the space bar to get a top view of your house, which makes it really easy to see the layout or to create a layout for your house and just like check the top view out if you want that. So just the space bar will help you with that. And now back Back to the video where I say goodbye and stuff like that. It's not really important, but yeah, bye. But I'm gonna leave it at this. I hope these helped you out. It's been a while since I've done this. Last time the clone tool wasn't here and the resizing tool wasn't here. So I thought I'd redo the video and I hope it helps for most of you. So that was it for today, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Hit that like button and please subscribe.